Hey guys, Elsie Gats here, and today I'm doing a top 10 video. I thought I'd bring my top 10 uh, anime in my collection. So you may see some gaps in the background or whatever, that's because I've pulled them out. I say it's top 10. You could technically call it a top 12 because I've got two honourable mentions. I couldn't cut it down all the way. Um, so I'm just going to get get started with it. So at what would be number 12 is Black Clover. So I love the Black Clover um the Black Clover manga, uh, and the anime is inferior, but because its source material is so good, it, it's still a lot of fun to watch. So yeah, that's why it didn't. That's why it didn't quite cut into the ten, because obviously the animation dips quite a lot. It is a bit drawn out and whatever, dragged out. But um, yeah, still really good. I still really enjoy it. And then at number eleven, I couldn't quite squeeze it in. Is a uh, Gundam the Origin. All about my favourite Gundam character, Shah Aznable. Um Yeah, surprisingly, the only Gundam title uh, in the top 10. And it's not even in the top 10, it's number 11. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed Gundam The Origin. Really interesting to get an insight into um, Shah and Sailor's background. Especially after watching 0079. It's, it fills in a lot of blanks. It does rewrite a couple of things as well but it's like minor things you can get past um for the sake of the story but moving on to the actual 10 now at number 10 got nobunaga the fool now this is a mech series that i watched before i was even into mechs and i really enjoyed it i compared this a lot to like drifters with mechs there's a lot of like uh real world historical figures in this series but like kind of heightened versions um and yeah it's, it was surprisingly really good i really enjoyed this series and i definitely think it's it's very underrated so uh anyone watching this video you should check this out if you like mechs if you like uh samurai stuff if you like drifters if you've seen that definitely give this a go yeah so number nine number nine got the heroic legend legend of arsline i've got series one part one here um with the uh, best character dayun on it just a super cool series um, to do. It's kind of like, I, I hear it compared to like if Dynasty Warriors was uh, an anime. I think it's a bit more than that. There's a lot of like tactics to it, which I really enjoy. I think the characters are really well done, especially Dayun and Narsus and Arslan himself. Just like this main group here, really well done. Um, really interesting story about obviously a prince that has to, has to become a king, essentially. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this, so... Yeah, Legend of Arslan number nine. And number eight is the first film uh, that's going to be on this. There's going to be quite a few films. You've got The Boy and the Beast. Love this film so much. So good. Um, I didn't expect to like this as much as I did when I when I first went into it. But it's a yeah, story about a boy who goes to the, the world of the beast, essentially, and gets trained by um, one of the beasts to be a samurai. It's, it's really, really good. Um, I definitely am not doing it justice there. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really nice story and really enjoyed it. Really nice animation as well. So, yeah, definitely give this one a go. Down to number seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is uh, the only Studio Ghibli film on here, House Moving Castle. Um, my favourite Studio Ghibli film. Uh, I, I really like the world it builds and the story it tells about... Um, the main character, I can't remember her name, not Hal, the 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 girl, Sophie, I just read off the back, Sophie, how she gets turned into this, from this, like, kind of um, young, beautiful woman into this old woman that, <laughs> that can't really do anything, um, but she kind of makes do, and then obviously goes on this adventure with, with all the very interesting characters, I, I love the whole cast of characters in this, even... The witch, which I hated at first, I come to kind of like her more towards the end. But yes, yeah, a really, really good film. Love House Moving Castle. Uh, at number six is another underrated one, Broken Blade. Now this is a, a mech series. Um, you see quite a few on this list. This I watched not too long ago. This is this collection here is the uh, it's the collection of the films which kind of compact it a little bit more I believe than the series but this is so good um I really enjoyed this I was not expecting to like this as much as I did 
um, really interesting mechs and mech design and, and, and kind of internals of how they work. Um, really interesting story about, you know, war, which you get a lot in mech series, but it's done really well. And I really like the um, the cast characters as well and all the twists and turns that happen throughout the series. So yeah, definitely check Broken Blade out. I feel like it gets overlooked quite a lot um, and I would 100% recommend it. So now we move into the top five. Uh, at number five, uh, I believe the last... No, not quite the last film. Um, but another film, Sword of the Stranger. Super good samurai film. I love this film so much. Again, wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did um, when I went into it. I didn't know that much about it um, going into it. And yeah, I, I love this film so much. It has some of the best like choreographed and animated uh, sword fights in anime that I've seen. Like I, I keep wanting to go back and rewatch it just for like the sword fights, but it it, it is more than that. It's a story about you know um, a, a boy who meets this uh, this Ronin, this this drifting samurai, and, and kind of their adventure and and uh, kind of the the drifters. Uh, he he needs to. It, it's it's all about him kind of uh, coming into his own and the boy coming into his own, and also. Uh, if you can see here, there's also a really cute little Sheba, and I love Shebas, so that's definitely a selling point as well. But yeah, so Sword of the Strangers number five. Now at number four is one that I actually watched because I'd heard it was, uh, I heard controversy about it, and I, I thought I wanted to check it out. Uh, that's Goblin Slayer. I love Goblin Slayer so much. I'm in uh, at the moment. I'm reading Goblin Slayer Year One and the Goblin Slayer main series, the manga. Um, I want to get all of the Goblin Slayer um, manga, and I might even try the light novels um, if they go further. But yeah, I, I really like Goblin Slayer. Obviously, it is quite gory um, and quite—I'm uh, not not quite sure what the word is—but it's definitely not for kids. I'll tell you that much. Um, there's kind of like implied rape and and stuff like that. The goblins are are horrible, but it kind of it builds this world where. Uh, you know, there's all these sorts of mythical creatures and, and, and villainous creatures, but it focuses, its main focus is on goblins and the Goblin Slayer. And it, it plays on that thing of, of the character being so obsessed with goblins really well. It, it, it makes for comedic moments. It makes for really, like, cool, intelligent moments. It, it, I think it's actually a really well-done series. And I do think if you're into kind of darker stuff and dark fantasy... Um, definitely give Goblin Slayer a go. Obviously, I love Berserk, so I heard Dark Fantasy and I was like, I'm, I'm on board straight away. Uh, but into the top three now, so these are the the crown jewels, per se. Um, number three, you've got Drifters. Drifters was one that I watched um, when I was trying out... I, I don't really watch stuff seasonally, but when I was, I, I saw Drifters and I was like, alright, I'll give this a go. Didn't really see anyone talking about it or anything, and I bloody love drifters i i really enjoy drifters uh really interesting um use of kind of historical figures into this really cool interesting world again a lot of interesting kind of tactical stuff to do with war but also some really cool uh fight scenes as well i love toyahisa the main character and and his kind of berserker style he just when, when he when he's in battle he's you know nothing can stop him it's so cool, and, and and the the three main characters, the way they interact and interact with this this new world that they're in, um, and with the other characters that have been transported there, yeah, it's just so good. I definitely recommend for uh, everyone to check out Drifters. I, again, I think it's so overlooked and underrated. Um, so for number two now, the last film on the list, this has been my favorite anime film for a long time. It's Garden of Words. Um, it's such a beautiful film that tells such a, a nice, realistic, grounded story that that kind of, I feel like anyone can relate to. Um, it's, yeah, the, it has an amazing soundtrack. The animation alone it makes this worth watching. I think this is uh, Makoto Shinkai's best film uh, I've seen, or from what I've seen anyway, obviously I can't say from what I have seen. I, I've seen this, Your Name, and Weathering With You, and I think this is the best of the three. Um... I think everyone should watch Garden of Words. Whether you're an anime fan or not, I think Garden of Words is one that, that everyone needs to see. Purely for the animation alone, it's worth watching, even if you put put it on silent. But it's just, 
it's such such a, a good and, and like fully realized film um see so yeah, i love garden of woods so much that's why that's my number two bad number one i think anyone could have seen this coming um i hate to be that one note guy uh but yeah it's berserk of course it's berserk it's berserk 1997 uh, how have i forgotten the year it's the pressure of making a video berserk 97 i believe um yeah the old one so good watch this basically that's all i'm gonna say the obviously the manga is better because the manga is top tier 10 out of 10 can't be beat but i think this is as well i think this is by far the best adaptation we've had so far of berserk i love the animation style it it's clearly had quite a small budget but pushes it to the limit with really beautifully hand-drawn backgrounds and scenes and and yeah it tells the story really well i think the dub's really good as well personally i'm, I'm a big dub advocate um but yeah, i implore everyone to check this out unless you're underage of course um, but yeah, definitely at least give Berserk a go. If you don't want to pick up the manga, at least give this anime a go. Because I think it is amazing. Uh, but that's it for the video. That's that's all 10 or 12, however you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so I want to say thank you for watching. Obviously, if you like the video, like it. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. Let me know what your top 10 are in your collection. Or if you've seen my collection video, what your top 10 are in my collection. Because why not? Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.